Well, hello there. Welcome to Open House. This is Brad Greenspan here, Biology Science Department at Niles North. Hope you're in the right place. This is how I sound when I talk to the kids every day. Welcome everybody to Open House. You are seeing my screen a little bit, but you're seeing my desktop mainly. And I'm Brad Greenspan. I've been at Niles North here for about 26 years. This is my 26th year. I was lucky enough to get hired very quickly out of college. And I've been here ever since. Uh, you have found this, so you know my Canvas homepage is here. My information is right here on that page. My phone number is right there and my email. I would love to hear from you and you will hear from me definitely. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and show you that on the main homepage for the kids will always be the schedule for the week of what we're doing. Uh, this is obviously the past week that we just had. And if your kids are period four and six, that's this page. I also have a different Canvas page for some of you whose kids are in periods one to nine. The reason I have a different Canvas page for one and nine is because I co-teach that class with Anthony White. And Anthony White is a teacher at Niles North, and we, me and him co-teach the class together. Uh, so I have his and uh, my classes on a separate Canvas page. So depending on which ca class your child is in, if it's in period one or nine, then you're going to be on this page. Otherwise, periods four and six would be on this page. Um, so I've given you my information. I wanted to make this quick for you, but I wanted to show you a few things of what the kids need to be able to do and what the class is kind of about. Um, so if I click on the modules, that's the, the link on the left that you can see here. Uh, that will take you to a page where I have every week organized for the kids. And it tells the syllabus for the week, and it also has the different things that we're doing for that week. Anything that is indented on my Canvas modules page, those are the assignments. And you can see there, they usually have due dates and point values if they're worth any points. The other ones are just pages of things that we do in class. And you're welcome to click on those if you want to see some ideas of what we've been talking about in the class. So that's my modules page. I really do uh, expect the kids to use that. That's one of my big things uh, that I tell them. Back on the home page, I thought I'd scroll down a little bit underneath there and kind of tell you what I expect from the kids. They've been fantastic. I, 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 I'm speechless. Um, they're almost all on time within a few minutes. And we all have, you know, especially in this weird computer thing, it's fine to be a couple minutes here. We get started usually about four minutes after the hour. Um, I expect them to be active learners, to ask questions. If they don't want to ask out loud, Zoom has a chat feature, and some of the kids will message me privately. That's great. Uh, I do do little checks where I tell them to turn on their cameras or to say OK or to type something. Uh, and I do a lot of things in class during the actual hour, during the 50 minutes, um, where they're engaged in participation and they have to type answers in or drag their mouse here or there. Um, and we do one of those almost every single class so that I can keep the kids engaged and not just staring at the screen, but they're actually having to do something. Um, when we get to class, they're going to need to have a binder. But for now, the Canvas does OK. I thought I would bring uh, this up. We have classwork and, of course, tests and quizzes. And tests and quizzes are worth 60% of the grades. So the kids really do have to study for those. Homework is worth 40% of their grade. The grades go 90, 80, 70, 60 in this course. And this is, by the way, a grade level biology course. This is grade nine and some 10 uh, biology. And it's just a your, your grade level class. Um, and I've just had a great time so far. Uh, we have uh, some Viking values that I tell the kids that they should follow even online. And that is being respectful. That's the way they act during the Zoom sessions and during the, the live class sessions when we're actually in school. Um, being responsible enough to keep up with their homework and their studies and being ready each day in class to kind of learn and not being off task and, you know, maybe on their phones and things. And I have to tell you, uh, it, it's been fantastic. Uh, I have no complaints uh, at all. And I mean, I, 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 I felt like it's been going great. So I hope they feel the same. Um, some of the other things over here, obviously, once we get into school and um, I give my free periods and tell them about, you know, how I will be calling home. And some of you I have called home already. Uh, but for the most part, the grades have been great. 
And I wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the class. And we don't have that many class sessions. As you know, we only do twice a week. Um, but we will be doing mainly ecology this year, uh, this first semester, which is the organisms and how they interact with their environment. Uh, we do a little bit of some field studies, some outdoor things that you might have seen your students doing already, your kids doing. Um, and then we'll get into some DNA and biotechnology, and then we move into evolution for most of second semester. Um, adaptations, how things uh, evolved over time. Uh, and uh, so that's about it for the course. Now, uh, as far as me personally, I wanted to definitely let you guys all know um, I have three children and one of them's in seventh grade. The other two are in high school. I have a freshman and a senior. And so I really do sympathize with almost everything that's going on at homes um, with just noises outside, distractions. With me, I have three kids at the house here all doing remote learning with me while I'm doing it. We've lost internet connections. We've lost the Wi-Fi. Um, the list goes on and on, as I'm sure you all know, it even going to how noisy it might be with the kids or noises outside. So I really do understand that. And because of that, so far, at least remotely, I want to encourage you to tell your students that if they have gotten any zeros on things or if they just want to redo anything, I'm really open to letting them keep trying things, especially right now. Um, when we get back to the school and we're in the building, I usually do have some kind of a late policy where after a certain number of days, I, I'm going to need to move on. With this only having two days a week, it's really no problem if they still had some work they wanted to give me. And I like to encourage them to stay positive and do that. So please encourage your kids and your students to get help if they need it and to redo things. Uh, I will show you, I can't, I can't really show you the grade sheets, but we'll show you that over here, your kids will have a grades button and that will take you to how they're doing and you can see all their assignments. And, uh, and I encourage you to stay, uh, to stay up on that and let me know if you have any questions. Again, my name is Brad Greenspan and the number here is uh, for my phone and my extension. And I will get an email to tell me that you called 626-2257. Or obviously, you can write me at that email address, bragree, B-R-A-G-R-E, at d219.org. Be happy to talk to you more. And I know you're going to be going to a lot of classes through Open House, and you're going to be listening to at least seven or eight teachers doing five-minute presentations. So I'm going to lay, let you go, as I would say to the kids. And um, I hope to see you guys soon in person. I hope to get to meet you face-to-face. -face. And uh, it's been a pleasure having your kids so far. They really have. I've had 100% attendance. Nobody's not shown up minus a couple, you know, the issues, but nobody's just not showing up. It's just been great. I look forward to the whole year. Thank you so much.